All right, let's go. I bow to your will. Let's get Gabin. We're building our distillery. Our water station is going to be producing our lumber, which is basically water, distilled water, with which to use to attack with. We're going to get nature tower, which will use that water to attack. And we're going to increase the bounty, which will increase the gold that we get when our nature tower kills units that spawn. Okay, so on hard difficulty, you're basically playing 100% um, creep health. Uh, there's a harder difficulty than this, though. It's still 100% creep health, but it's just you only have one life. But I figure may as well go with the 10 lives option, just in case. Increase the bounty again. In order to upgrade the water station, it requires gold, but it does increase the amount of distilled water you're building up. And that lumber, water, per se, is being used to increase the bounty. And also used as ammunition. So you got to just hang in there a little bit. You can type dash ready to start off straight away, but I think if we want to give ourselves the best chance here, we wait, be patient, let the uh, lumber build up over time, income-wise, and then go for another bounty, potentially before the next level starts, and that way we can be getting three gold per creep instead of one gold. Okay, let's uh, increase the bounty. It's going to be close. But if I can't kill them on the first run, they can come around this side as well. Right, increase that bounty fast. In a way, was it costing me lumber to stop my attacks? I'll keep trying it though. I think it is a little bit. You can see my lumber is going down when I'm doing that. But anyway, yeah, so deliberately stopping your attacks actually hurts you. But... It was only done so that I can actually get maximum bounty for the kills that I'm going to get. And we should be okay, so don't worry too much. We're going to upgrade our water station ASAP. All the rest of my gold goes into water stations now, which then increases the amount of lumber. So you're sort of like getting both to help out each other. And this nature tower is the key to sort of getting through the majority of the levels. I pretty much keep dying around the level 13 point now, because I can't quite manage my greed well enough. But the greedier you are, the easier this will technically be, or at least the more realistic your chances of being able to beat this TD. Because it says that you have to find a balance in order to beat it. It's not supposed to be easy. Here's the scoreboard at the top. You can see what your current level is. The ground. So it's got an armor type of normal. Nature Tower does 120% damage to normal. So you can see this here. Damage types. Physical does extra damage to normal. Magic does extra damage uh, to magic. Yeah, so and Psycho damage deals 80% damage to normal, but 15% to magic, but 180% to diamond. Diamond comes in later More on. Lumber More lumber. If you actually upgrade that, you're going to run out of shots so you actually can't finish these off. And then when they come around again, you'll have that bounty researched, hopefully. Research close enough, and then you can finish off the re remaining one. So it's just a little bit extra min-max. But you don't want to risk that too much, because you could end up leaking. But we're okay in this circumstance. So there's another bounty for 125 gold. I oh, I think I need to upgrade this tower, actually. Because this level gets a bit more challenging. So I'm going to put another upgrade into this one. Yes, you can see... I like how the first hit doesn't bounce. Kind of hampers you in a way. It might be worth getting a frost tower just so I can actually get that bounce. Right. We've got to increase the bounty again soon. Or upgrade the water station. Both are good. Let's upgrade the water station. Let's upgrade the water station. Then upgrade the bounty. By level 6, you're going to want a diamond tower. The diamond tower, diamond tower actually has a cool ability, which does like immolation damage around it, but it's 400 range, so you need to build it in the middle of where they're going to go around. That's alright, Balaz. 
Where shall my blood be spilled? Fred, you went on hard difficulty. Good lad. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing as a challenge. Otherwise, it's not worth doing. Okay, we need more bounty. Why am I not increasing the bounty? Increase that bounty. Here comes the frost. Hey, there's a bit of splash there. Although this guy had 700 range, 650 range. So he should really kind of attack first. We should have enough gold at the end of this level for a mine tower, which is effectively our way of dealing with... Uh, well, actually, Mind Tower isn't first, it's magic. So you can actually go a bit greedier here. <laughs> of course you can go greedier. It's the whole point. You actually get um, a Coral Tower or an Ice Tower versus uh, magic. But I don't think magic is too difficult. And I found that nature does well enough versus it. 60% of magic ain't great. But it seems okay. I'm constantly trying to upgrade my water station so I can increase the lumber coming in and the bounty that's coming from those lumber. This looks tough. But I might be okay here. I might need to upgrade this tower one more time. So I don't think. My life for Nezul. Has my greed gone too far? <laughs> Certainly pushing it with the greed. No doubt about that. I think I might lose a couple of lives here. We got diamond coming up next, so we're going to want to get that mine tower. I think I should lose a couple of lives here. I'd be amazed if I kill all of that. That's okay. One life is kind of acceptable for the level of greed that I just basically put on there. We'll get the mine tower now. Oh, two. Two, okay. Fine, two. Two lives. Two lives. I can handle it. We're okay. We're still being really greedy, though. We get nine gold per creep at level seven, which is pretty damn good. And we need to just keep increasing. In a way, I would actually like to stop this. But it's not worth it. Because it costs me too much lumber. I want to get that bounty before. But it it's clever. I don't know whether the map creator made it that way. That when you press stop attack. It costs you lumber. Because it's trying to still attack. And it's costing you that lumber. But you're not actually throwing those attacks out. But that's what you would try to do. As a more experienced Warcraft free player. To manipulate as much as possible. And min max. I think we can afford to upgrade our water stations a couple more times. As gold allows. Yeah, we've got two level 5 water stations. This is a tough level for most people. They forget to get the proper counter to it. Which is this guy right here. We've got time though to get another bounty, which is handy. I see these filthy casuals with 20 lives. could upgrade the ice tower one more time. You could do that, Maraca. I welcome difficult TDs. The builder only has the ability to freeze your towers. Upgrade the water stations. Or unfreeze them, which basically stops them from attacking. Which isn't costing you wood, but I don't know why you really want to do that. At the moment, I'm just managing it quite well enough. If you had a really rubbish tower, for example, I could understand to a degree, like, this does what? 15% damage to magic? So if you have a magic level, you probably want to freeze this tower, because otherwise it's going to waste a lot of your ammunition doing 15% damage. I just explain why I want to do that. Stop trying to backseat game me in chat. Jesus. Yes, Sometimes I can't stand him. Get out! I just explained exactly why you would want to do that. So I knew that you guys, like, generally speaking, I know what I'm saying. Okay? Fucking hell. I know that for the majority of the time, you wouldn't want to freeze your tower. How often do you want to freeze your tower? But in very few circumstances. I only had to explain myself there because it wasn't obvious enough to you fucks in the chat. <laughs> I hope you're happy now <laughs> no, that you got the the explanation. I hope it was worth it. I might need to start upgrading my towers again soon because this greed is getting out of hand. I'm going to upgrade this. I can afford... The upgrade is pretty cheap considering 
how much this other stuff is costing me. So it really doesn't make much sense to like hold back too much on these upgrades, because it's not like it's costing me a, too much. We've got magic coming up next, so shall we freeze the tower? Yeah, we froze the tower now. Okay, you're happy? So he's not going to attack and waste ammunition. This is a tough level, but I've upgraded to level 4, so he should be much better than he has been in the past. You could get the Coral Tower to deal with this, but with the super upgraded Nature Tower, I should be in a much better spot. I'm going to upgrade that bounty soon. And now we'll unfreeze this tower. Or will we? Maybe we just unfreeze it only on the levels where it's going to do its extra damage. I bow to your will. It deals 80% damage to normal creeps, so I think it's okay to keep it unfrozen in that circumstance. Because it's doing a good chunk of damage. I need to upgrade my water stations more. That's true. If you upgrade the towers more, they'll take less hits to kill, which would save you lumber as well. So there's that's true. So you don't necessarily want to just go full greed. By upgrading your towers, you should be taking less shots and saving yourself resources. Speaking of which, bounty time. This just leveled up. So as they get kills, they can level up, which improves their abilities, which is nice. We got diamond. We just got past that. We haven't got a magic level though yet. We've got another bounty coming up soon. Or upgrade the water stations for 498 gold, which is nothing. Not cheap at all. They don't take less since they are more water the bigger level they are. I don't know what you're talking about, high rise. Could someone get high rise some water. My life for He's not speaking clearly. Needs to clear his throat. Where shall my blood be spilled? I'm going to upgrade that bounty in a moment. Oh, come on. Level 16 and we are on how much bounty? 19 per creep soon. This frost tower helps out a lot. It works very nicely with the nature tower. I probably might put another upgrade into nature tower soon. Gonna upgrade my bounty one more time now. You sometimes get the odd loose one. Sort of forget to come along. 21 gold is pretty sweet on level 16. Upgrade the bounty again, and then next turn upgrade the nature tower. Well, we got magic on the next level. 15% damage to magic. I might get a coral tower for that, because I don't have anything too specifically good versus magic. It's got 500 range, so it's pathetic, so I'm going to actually put it like here or something. Oh, upgrade. These are super fast, so we need that ice tower to at least do some effort into slowing them down. My goodness, look at that. I should have frozen that. Never mind. Choices. Increase that bounty, and then increase the stations. Research complete. Needs a lot of gold for that. My life for I love how that frost tower just sort of knocks them back a little bit. So we've got two level 8 water stations. That's producing 186 lumber, which can keep increasing the bounty. LO's got them on the down low. He's getting. You can see how much gold other people are getting for their kills. So it gives you like a little inclination as to how well you should be doing as well. Tower there. 24 gold per kill. 
Which is roughly where you want to be about on this level. You might be able to get like a couple points ahead. But Cornea... Um, he actually might be playing the same difficulty as me, so he's doing really well actually in that case. So you want to be like 24 at least bounty. If you can. He's got two level water nine, uh, level nine stations. It's very comfy there. More gold is required. More gold is required. I'm gonna say this is diamond. So yeah, you need to do what you need to do. Oh, okay, we're okay. Just about. I was thinking about upgrading the mine tower now. Maybe for the next diamond level. Which is level 28. Keep increasing that bounty. You have max bounty. You got 30. I'm almost on 30. That's good though. You successfully completed Witty Greed. More lumber is required. Have I been playing any Warcraft 3 mall reimagined? Every R Warcraft mall I've played so far has been terrible. Like, really slow. Takes ages to spawn the units. The units move at, like, two mile an hour. It's super basic. I haven't come across More an actual, like, complicated or decent mall. They're all really bad because they're all, like, traditional 2003 malls where custom games were very simplistic. Max Bounty. So, how do you unlock Max Bounty? Unless that is just what I have. I assume that is, then. Requires Max Bounty. Well, there it is. I'll upgrade the station another time, and then we'll start putting effort into Coral. Uh, unfreeze. Well, I don't even think I need to unfreeze. Because I've got so much lumber coming in now. What do I spend my lumber on then? Other than just pure ammunition. Which isn't an issue at the moment. What's this? What is? Nani? The nature tower's maxed. Let's max each of my towers then. Oh, that's maxed. Coral! When's air? We've got air coming up. We can get an anti-air tower. She's got 1500 range. She's pretty sweet. Yeah, the arrow tower can only hit air, by the way, guys. Don't... <laughs> Who builds an arrow tower thinking it can hit ground units, honestly? I haven't heard of that one, Blaze. I'm at 5,200 lumber. i got too much now. I feel like I need some sort of way to manage it. Or to sell it for more gold. Because now, the greed is off the table. There's, there's no more... I can't manipulate it anymore. This literally just comes down to, I hope I've raised my uh, bounty high enough that I can actually finish this map with the gold that it's going to give me per level. Otherwise, I can't do much else to outplay it. There's no gold, there's no... Yeah, the nature tower seems the best. Sell a water plant to build more towers. Yeah, maybe, honestly. You might not be wrong. Like, what, what, am I, what are these water plants really doing for me now? Other than... Well, we'll have to... We'll have to wait and see. Build more burrows, so I can't actually build anymore, anyway. We've got diamond next level, so we're going to start upgrading this mine tower. Wood, wood, uh, sorry, food. And a water station costs five food, so yeah, you could up sell one. The question is, is how li late can you leave it before you sell one? So you definitely don't screw yourself over on lumber. How many levels are there in total? Right, uh, it's 50 levels, so you want to kind of keep it for some time, if you can help it. 
If you sell it too early, we're only on level 28. Whilst it looks like I've got more than enough lumber, that might not necessarily be the case. If levels like this mean that I have to keep taking so many shots. What are my items doing? They just explain how the game works. Oh, could be in trouble here because this guy only has... Oh, he's got 900 range actually. It's the immolation that has the 400 range. Thankfully. Improve. Increases the range of this tower. Alright. Yes, that sounds good to me. Improve. Doesn't look like you can improve all of them. So, that's critical strike. Progressive fire. That bounces. Uh, that increases the damage. That increases the speed. That shows you the level requirements. It's currently at level 10. So I guess it's maxed out. Most likely. That's freeze. Damage bonus. Speed bonus. That's at level 2. So that's... Yeah, that won't get many kills. This is uh, Arrow Tower. I think we can upgrade this another time. Because it is an air level. There we go. That's now maxed out. But it's only at level 1. So it's not particularly fantastic versus the air. Because it's level 1. It's got speed, damage, poison. So attacked enemies will be poisoned. Damage per second, 14. Lasts for 3 seconds. Critical strike. I can keep improving the range of the coral tower. Ah, oh, there we go. Max range. 1300 range. That's more than enough to maybe reach down here as well. I think it's pretty close, actually. Not entirely sure if it can. Can't ground attack to test it. Critical shot. Aura of Honor. Gives all friendly towers within the range of 300 a damage bonus. Damage bonus is 4%. Alright. So you might want to build another Coral Tower then. If you can afford it. When you when you get that and build it closer to your bulk of towers. I think maybe after this next level I might consider selling. I'll see. Like When it comes around to a level that really really means that I've got to at the moment this is you you can use the corpses to give you an inclination you know if the corpses are still in this vicinity you're probably okay this could be upgraded anyway so I can still put upgrades down still ways to spend my gold and be useful I don't think so. I don't know about that dimension. It's got 1,500 gold. He's about 300 gold ahead of me. I got a lot more lumber though, somehow. Oh, he sold one of his watch stations now. So he sold his quite early. You can sell it if you really want to. Be absolutely safe. But I'm always... Well, the whole point is I'm greedy. So I'll hold on as long as I can. Things like the diamond levels might be a problem, though. Those are the ones where you might want to sell to make sure you've got enough damage. Like this one. We'll see how we do on this level. Because this tower should be effective first, is it? Yeah, we're still good. We've got 15 levels left. It seems hard to believe that I'll go through that much lumber. So, I'm pretty confident I should be able to sell. I think I will sell. Hopefully it's not too late, though. <laughs> it might be too late. Oh, it's close. Oh, bloody hell. 
Upgrade. 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 Hey, Fostar. Thank you very much there for the resub. I sold the bigger one. Ah, oh, well. Let's not worry about it. The main thing is we're still alive. Probably get another ice tower, maybe, down here as well. You're cute. Oh, am I? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I don't think I need another ice tower, though, to be fair. The main bulk of the damage is all here. Should really get one of each tower again. So I shouldn't, like, neglect the mine tower, even though it is pretty crap. I shouldn't neglect it. We know the nature tower is really the best, though. I don't think we need more than one arrow tower, though. Upgrade the water station, or you might actually run out of lumber. Yeah. We've got almost 10 levels to go. 15k lumber. He's got less lumber, so we're safer than Cornea. Although he's he'll have more gold in towers because he um, increased his bounty quicker than I did. So he did a really good job on that. And he didn't even lose a life. So he's done really well. I think back to Nature Tower. You can't go wrong with the Nature Tower. Definitely seems the best tower by a long shot. That's nice that the Coral Tower gets the benefit of that upgrade to range. So any Coral Towers you build are good. Yeah. Fine. I will be safe. I'll upgrade the water station again then. Up to like level 10. It's a shame I sold the wrong one, but it was more of a panic because that level we were pretty much going to lose a bunch of lives there. That was really close on that ferry level. I will probably have to start freezing these towers then, by the looks of it. What's the hotkey? There's no hotkey for it. So, magic, that does like next to, that does a little bit of to diamond. That does 30% of diamond. So I'm freezing my nature towers. Oops, I think I unfroze them. I didn't freeze them. Right, freeze these towers then. Get it right. Faffing about with all of this stuff actually costs you quite a lot of trouble. Causes you a lot of trouble. Water station is now maxed. We've got six levels to last 10k lumber on. So corny has got about the same. I think we should have enough lumber. But I'll still freeze stuff just to be safe. It's not obvious to tell what is frozen though. It just looks slightly darker in colour when it's frozen. I'll freeze the magic tower. And then unfreeze it. <laughs> just a little bit here and there. You can tell that like they don't have they don't look like anything. They're an empty tile when they're frozen. So it's not, you know, it's not too bad. But otherwise you're looking at plants. They're not like obvious towers or nothing. Yeah. Go back to freezing. My fate is sealed. I wish only. I think I'll get myself another nature tower. Yes, master. My In nature towers we trust. It depends what the very last level is. I've already just built it now. Air is the last level. 
well, that's if that is nature, uh, normal, physical. Right, what are all the forms? I don't know. By the time you fuss about thinking about it all, probably just be better off just massing the nature tower anyway. Screw it. Yeah, I think air probably is the last one. 50 would seem like the logical last level, but... So I was considering getting the air. But then again, the arrow tower doesn't attack anything other than air. So it's really crap. Right, we've got magic next level. These do 15% damage to magic, so they can stay frozen. I think every tower I have now is upgraded to the max. Diamond is coming up, so we want to unfreeze our towers that do extra damage to diamond. Yeah, with only a couple of levels to go, we can safely unfreeze now. So, we've got four towers that are nature. We've got two coral coral towers. We've got two mine towers and one ice tower. Fifteen. You could actually sell this. Oh, that is a bit of a gamble though, isn't it? Because you never know. Theoretically, you should have enough lumber for the last level, but... You know, you could sell that. If it looks like it's really bad, then I can always sell it and then build right at the very end and upgrade. This looks like the last level. It looks badass enough for it. Ugh. I think I'm going to sell. I don't know. I should be strong enough. Sell. It's got a clunky sell mechanic mechanism. There isn't a 51, is there? <laughs> I've still got enough lumber. Oh, okay, we did do it. Thank goodness. I almost got debated there, like level 51. Yeah. Well, there you go. That's a fun little TD. The thing is, is I think this is actually a pretty good solid TD. But it remains as just a solid TD, not an absolutely fantastic TD, because... It lost that bounty greed. Arguably, the bounty greed would make the game, like, impossible to lose. But at the same time, as soon as you could stop, you couldn't upgrade the bounty anymore. The game... Uh, well, th there was still the balance of lumber and when to build those extra towers and when to sell. That made it interesting. But other than that, it kind of lost its sort of, like, flavor, which made it really unique. And I think that actually hampered it a little bit. If it sort of kept away where you could sell lumber for gold or maybe to build some unique towers, some extra towers that cost a lot of gold, but they take like 3,000 lumber at the same time. You know, there was some sort of balance there. I think it's still very good and it's well worth a go, but it kind of, I don't know, it just lost that depth that allows it to go that much deeper. Yeah, Cornea nailed it. Oh, well, he had one... Li Actually, technically, I had one less life lost than him. But he did better than me uh, for getting that greed up. But I think he probably just didn't bother to build a bunch of air towers like I did at the end there. So he knew he'd be fine. If he really wanted to, he could probably sell and build some air towers at the end. All right, then. GG. Uh, the credits go to TD Pro 2006, who is the creator, and these fellas that helped him. I don't know how old the map is. High Rise says it's from 2009. 
So, yeah, fairly old map. I think it holds up quite well, though. Like, the concept is really good. Just needs a little bit more depth, and it would be pretty damn replayable. But as it is, there's no reason to revisit this map now. Alright, joy joy.